welcome friends welcome to the nix educational video so in the last video i'm talking about an introduction regarding with the microbiology and three kingdom classifications of uh, organisms by carl hus and five kingdom classifications of organisms by arish pitaker and also i'm talking about an introduction regarding with the kingdom fungi in this video i'm going to talk about the classification of fungi the fungi are classified into a uh, four classes that are class phycomycetes class ascomycetes class basidiomycetes and class deuteromycetes first we will see class phycomycetes so the class phycomycetes is also called as algal fungi so why it is called algal fungi because it is resembles to certain green algae the phycomycetes is resembles to certain green algae in structure and reproduction so hence the class phycomycetes is also referred as algal fungi because it resembles to the green algae and its structure and to the reproductive system of the green algae so it has 254 genera and 1300 species so it commonly the class phycomycetes includes bread molds so it includes molds such as the rhizopus it is called bread mold and water mold so the the class phycomycetes the fungi which belongs to the class phycomycetes are almost or mostly aquatic and saprophytes so they live in water or they grow or they develop in moisture condition so so they need high moisture content for the development so they also they are saprophytic saprophytic means they get the nutrition from the dead matter or decaying matter i already given an example that is mushroom in the last video which is one of the example for the saprophytic fungi so which gets the nutrition from the dead or decaying matter so reproduction is by two methods that is sexual and asexual method so asexual method is by zoospores this is one of the spore types so asexual method is by zoospores if it is motile it is called zoospore if it is non motile it is called aplanospore so there are two types of zoospores are there first one is a tinsel type second one is a whiplash type so first one is a tinsel type so you can see in the picture this is a tinsel type which consists of hair like structures so these are the hair like structures that's why the tinsel type is also referred as hairy flagellar type so now the next one is whiplash type so this is a whiplash type which does not have any hair like structures it is a non hairy flagellum but in case of albugo it is one type of phycomycetes fungi so in case of albugo asexual method of reproduction is by conidia and conidiospores i'll explain what is conidia and conidiospores sexual reproduction sexual reproduction is by conjugation of two gametes resulting in formation of zygospores so we already know that if it is sexual reproduction there must be a fusion of male and female gamete or any two gametes of two different strains so here there will be a fusion of two gametes from two different strains for example this is the strain 1 plus strain 2 the gamete from strain 1 is a the gamete from strain 2 is b they are fused together to form c so this is a different strain so like that sexual reproduction occurs in phycomycetes the picture shows a sexual reproduction in the rhizopus so you can see here this is the sporangiospore so the sporangiospore this is a long elongated structure that is a sporangiospore at the tip there is a sporangium at the tip there is a sporangium which produces a spores these spores are further develop into a new mycelium new hyphal structure so then that develop into a new individual that is a new phycomycetes the zygosporangium of the tip which can produces a many spores it develop into a new species because of the fusion of the two gametes between the two different strains of the fungi or phycomycetes there will be a development of sporangiospore at the tip which there will be a development of sporangia so which produces which produces numerous amount of spores resulting in the formation of hyphal structure which constitute the 
mycelium and then there is finally there is the development of a new individual. Thus sexual reproduction takes place in class phycomycetes. So this is the life cycle of a rhizopus. So that is the sexual reproduction. So you can see here this is the strain 1 and this is the strain 2. From the strain 1 and strain 2 these are the spores are combined to form a zygosporangium. The zygosporangium is germinated germinating into germinating zygospores. So zygospores are further germinated into a sporangium. That sporangium develops hyphae. Further hyphae develop into mycelium. So this mycelium leads to the development of young fungi. Next we will see class Ascomycetes. The class Ascomycetes is known as sac fungi. Why it is known as sac fungi? I will tell you in the next slide. So it includes yeast and also some molds. But the class Phycomycetes is includes molds but Ascomycetes includes some molds also. So it has 2500 genera and 35,000 species. So the class Ascomycetes have a, some economical importance. So the mycelium is branched with the septate hyphae. We already know what is hyphae in the last video. I have shown the picture. So hyphae, it will be like this. So if it is a septate hyphae, there must be a segment or division in the hyphae. So this is the segment. So if it uh, if so if the hyphae consists of a septate means there must be a, a segment. So this is the septal hyphae because it consists of a segment in it. So if it is not a septate hyphae then the hyphae structure will be like this. There is no septate so this is the only hyphae. This is the septate hyphae. So class Ascomycetes are the saprophytic fungi because they get the nutrition from the dead matter and also their decomposers helps in the decomposition process so uh, helps to decompose the dead plants and trees and animals and also some are parasites which causes a diseases in plants animals and humans so let's talk about reproduction in class ascomycetes so they reproduce by two methods that is sexual and asexual methods so sexual reproduction is by the conjugation of the gametes as we are talking before so there will be a conjugation of two gametes for example in the picture you can see so here it is a one cell here it is a another cell there is a gamete inside of it when these cells are fused the gametes inside of it are fused resulting in the formation of another new strain so that leads to the development of a new individual thus a sexual reproduction occurs resulting in there will be a production of ascospores which are sac like structures hence the class ascomycetes are called sac fungi next ascomycetes reproduce asexually by fission and by budding the asexual parts are conidia which is produces at the tip of the hyphal structure called conidiospores. So you can see in the picture that is example is a pencilium. So you can see here this is a conidiospore. At the tip of the conidiospore there is conidia which is a asexual part. That conidia for example this is the conidia separated from the parental body. It have a ability to develop into a new individual, new hyphal structure, new mycelium development takes place so this is a new mycelium entirely develops into a new organism and also the picture shows a conidia in other species such as aspergillus claviceps morcella and yeast there is a budding in yeast for example this is a bird separated from the parental body and it have ability to develop into a new individual so this is a new yeast now Next is class Basidiomycetes. It is also known as club fungi. I'll tell you why it is called a club fungi in the next slide. So class Basidiomycetes, we all know that it includes a mushrooms. The mushrooms, both the types, there are poisonous and edibles. It includes both edible and poisonous mushrooms. It has 500 genera and 20,000 to 25,000 species. So they are saprophytic. Of course, I already given an example in the last video. The mushrooms are the saprophytic fungi because they get the nutrition from the dead or decaying matter. 
So mycelium is multicellular. In phycomycetes, in ascomycetes, mycelium is unicellular. So here mycelium is multicellular. There are two types of um, mycelium, primary and secondary mycelium. So primary mycelium are called monokaryotic because the cell consists of only single nuclei. So single nucleus. So this is the cell. There is a single nuclei inside of it. So another is secondary mycelium, which is called dikaryotic cell. So because it consists of two nuclei. For example, this is the secondary mycelium, which consists of two nuclei inside of it. These are the two nuclei. So the sex organs are absent. So that's why there is no sexual reproduction. So there will be a fusion of vegetative or somatic cells of two different strains. The somatic cells or the vegetative cells of the two different strains of the Basidiomycetes fungi are combined or fused together to form a dikaryotic cell or secondary type of the mycelium. So entirely it is developed into a new species or new organism. So this is the life cycle of the mushroom. So here you can see so this is the basidia which produces basidiospores. That so here the, there are two different strains. The positive strain and the negative strains are combined together to form a secondary mycelium. The secondary mycelium constitute a young basidiocarp. So young basidiocarp finally develops into a new mushroom. So that's how the life cycle works in case of mushroom in case of basidiomycetes. So this is the mature basidiocarp, the fruiting body. So this is the fruiting body, which is called a basidiocarp, which is some, some are edible, some are non-edible. This is the fruiting body. So this is the fruiting body. So this fruiting body is poisonous. This fruiting body is edible. So I'll tell you why class basidiomycetes is called club fungi because the mushrooms are developed together in a population. They develop together in a population in a club. They are not developed alone. So that's why the class Pisidiomycetes is called a club fungi. Next we will see the class Deuteromycetes. The class Deuteromycetes is also called fungi imperfecte. So I'll tell you why in the next slide. So it has 1350 genera and 15,000 to 24,000 species. So they are mostly parasitic. All the fungi which are parasitic and causes disease to animal, plants and man. So they are classified under class Deuteromycetes. Some are saprophytes that get the nutrition from the dead or decaying matter. So here in class Deuteromycetes, the mycelium is well developed and well branched with the septate hyphae. I already told what is the septate hyphae means. The reproduction is only by asexual method because the sexual reproduction is absent because of the absence of the sex organs. The asexual reproduction is by conidia. I already told how the conidia works. Example, Alternaria, Trichoderma and Candida. So why these are called fungi imperfecti means because these fungi are not useful because they causes infection and causes diseases to the plant, animals and humans. Hence they are known as fungi imperfecti. This is all about the classifications of the fungi. I hope you understood and thank you for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get the update hi friends subscribe to my youtube channel and also press a bell icon to never miss an educational video